Chaos Blood Drive held yesterday in Evansville was a resounding success, and this truly shows the generosity of the tri-state. People came out to donate when blood is at a critical shortage around the country. Joining us now to talk about this is Theo Boots, the executive director of the Red Cross of Southwestern Indiana. Theo, you put out the word, the call that you needed uh, the, the blood just the day before this blood drive was held yesterday, and even you were surprised at the incredible response. Tell us about that. It was absolutely incredible. You're right. We, we t started telling everyone just on Wednesday and yesterday, we had over 43 units of, or about 43 units of blood, but we probably, about 30 people came and, and wasn't able to donate because we had such a great response, but they were so kind, they understood, they, they're coming back. And that's the message I want to get out to everyone is that this is going to be a long, ongoing process. This blood drive is going to be here at least to April 3rd alongside of our fixed site. So um, with the schools being closed until May 1st or 2nd, that's more blood drives being canceled. We are getting more blood drives being canceled at an alarming rate. We're trying to find other sites and we are finding them, but it's taking a little bit of time to get them rebooked, rescheduled. Um, so just have patience with us. I can already tell you we are full to tomorrow and Monday, but we have lots of openings next week from Tuesday on to come and donate blood. Okay, so the best thing for people to do is to call and make an appointment, correct? Yes. Um, the call the 1-800-RED-CROSS or go to redcrossblood.org. Okay, great. Now, so those folks that were turned away yesterday will have a way to um, donate here in the next few days. And this is largely due, I'm understanding, because of coronavirus, there's a critical shortage going on nationwide. And um, tell us about that. How important is it for us to give blood now? Well, we've had over 5,000 blood drives canceled nationwide, and we understand that with the schools and the churches and companies not having employees um, having to cancel their drives. We understand that, but you have to remember blood um, only has a shelf life of 42 days. It's not something you can produce. It can only be given by a healthy blood donor, and so we are going to be needing to uh, collect blood for many months to keep the blood supply uh ongoing oh, and you know some people may have second thoughts right now too because you know we're talking about social distancing we're talking about making sure you know you practice all these uh, safety and health behaviors giving blood is safe talk about that it is very safe and we've always followed strict safety protocols but we're even doing more before you come into the room we take your temperature we are practicing social distancing by having the bed spread apart and the waiting areas spread apart and if some people want to wait out in their cars they can do that um, and I want to tell everyone too that you know people have said well we're not supposed to do the mass gatherings isn't a blood drive a mass gathering FD, FDA and CDC has declared Blood is essential services, so it is encouraged for people to come out and donate blood because it is the lifeline of, of, um, of our nation. Um, we supply over 40% of the nation's blood supply. All right, Theo Boots, we are elated at, at the turnout that you've had and the fact that people continue to come. And again, that number, 1-800-RED-CROSS, if you want to uh, donate blood at this critical time. Theo, thank you so much for joining us and talking about this critical need. We appreciate it. And thank you for your support. You all have been terrific. We appreciate it. Glad to do it. Thank you, Theo.